Wait, I don't have my makeup on. <laughs> I'm standing with my friend Larry here, and he's got the uh, the nuclear reactor of gardening behind me. And I asked if you would mind if I filmed, and he could just kind of explain what's going on here. <laughs> so he says that uh, the grow bags in front were an idea he got from uh, Larry Hall on YouTube, and from uh, Mart Hale, who's another friend of ours, who was a friend of Larry Hall's. And then he decided to just sort of integrate them into his tilapia system. Yeah. Did I get that right? Yes. Okay. Good. So you want to walk over? Yeah, let's go take okay. a look. So, like my weed barrier mulch system. <laughs> it's classic. Cardboard with leaves on top of it. Don't mess with the classics. <laughs> and grapes are coming back over here too. Yep. On the fence. So there's the fish tank right over there. Um, it comes up. The first barrel is a swirl filter to settle the solids. I have two actually, two swirl filters, and then this is a biological filter to separate the ammonia and all that. Okay, so the one at the end, is that's the, the furthest left is a biological filter. Yeah. What does that entail? Just some gro um, bio balls, that's all, oh, I'll show you. I mean, that sounds like, like something kids would trade after church, like Pokemon cards. Oh, I've got bio balls. Yeah. Okay, so what does that do? Do they do bacteria just... grow on? The oh, surface okay, area. okay. So you've got a much more. It raises the surface area significantly yep. and allows for a lot more bacterial growth. Yep. So then off the main drain here, I got a tube that feeds the uh, gutter. Okay, and then the gutter wicks up into the buckets. Right. Underneath is like a cone. Yeah. Nice. And then the holes actually act as air pruning. Larry Hall explains it better. But uh, this, and then we got a T going to this grow bed, and then the next T goes to that kiddie pool, which doesn't, um, it doesn't cycle through like the grow beds. It just feeds water when it needs it. Okay. And then I got another. So it just, it basically, it just fills up to a certain level and that's where it stops. Yeah, I got So the, it doesn't have to swirl back into the system. Right, there's a float valve. I have oh, a perfect. on it, but I don't know what happened to it. What happens, do you have a, oh, okay, I see, you've got drill points here in the side, so if you've got a lot of rain or something and that thing filled up overnight, it would just empty up right, right away. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, all these tomato plants were transplants from out back from when we had our pigs. <laughs> I thought, well, they're free if they die. Free tomato plants. I think the seedlings do better, generally. They actually you never know what they're going to be. Very well. These are doing very well. I'm really surprised. They're actually doing better than these, and they're the same, approximately the same age. That one's already got, that, yeah. that seedling's already got uh, fruit on it. Yep. And we got some coming out right there. Perfect. Fruit. And these are just the Walmart Throwback. shopping bags? 50 cents at Walmart. 50 cents each. How long do you think they last? I don't know. <laughs> well, at 50 cents, you're not really out a lot if they yeah. only last a year even. So then this is, um, I got some corn seeds in there they haven't sprouted yet. Kind of late in the year, but I thought, eh, I'm going to try it. Yeah, you probably pull it off. <laughs> and then uh, this bed over here is an experiment I'm trying with, a, it's the flood and drain of this bed, but I got the grow bags in there and the in the buckets just to see. And it's actually doing very well. They look happy. Got some butternut squash, some and celery I put in there. Did that, you just take a piece of celery and stick it in there? I like did, cut yeah. the end off? Yeah. Have they made stalks for you that way? Uh I don't know. I, so far I haven't well it's work in progress. Okay. <laughs> I haven't tried it. I know you can do it, but I haven't tried it. And so that float valve, it just keeps cycling back and then it drains out yeah. the bottom here back into your tilapia tank. Yeah. So I'll let it fill up and then it'll drain it. Now this, this when you see the bubbles, mm -hmm. as the water comes through, it sucks in air and it puts air into the tank. It, fill, it uh, aerates the tank. So I don't have to have an aerator in there. It's it's like deliberate 
chaos. Yeah. To just keep <laughs> keep it agitating, I guess. Yeah. It's really cool. How many tilapia do you have in there at this point? Right now there's 16 that are full, well, 15 are full grown and one's about that big. All right. <laughs> And that's it. Yeah. And I mean, what do you think the capacity would be? With the filters like this, I could probably do up to 100 fish. So this is just your this is your preliminary tilapia launch. Yeah. Because last time I was here, you had a much simpler system set right. up in a greenhouse. Yeah. It was a, yeah. It's doing. This is. It's taken a w little bit of time getting the uh, flow rate right, but it's actually doing really well now. And everything's growing, so I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks good. And it looks like you could just keep branching things off of it if you wanted right, to, if the grow right. back system works. Got an additional kiddie pool waiting. Yeah. So I'm yeah, I've gotta fill up this area and it's doing really well. I'm really excited. So the drains on the tank the swirl tanks are so that I can get the solids off and feed the fruit trees. Oh, okay, so this is your fish fish dropping. Yeah. Fertilizer dispensement. <laughs> well, I saw some of the fruit trees were really looking very happy. So I was guessing. Ooh, you can get a whiff of that. <laughs> oh, it smells good. <laughs> it smells like a gas stove. Look at that. So that, there's liquid fertilizer out of the system as well. Yeah, so I've been feeding my mulberry tree. Um, the, uh, the mulberry looks great. Oh, you should it's see loaded with on. fruit. I got up close to it earlier. <laughs> so this is yeah. the this is the result of active feeding with fish this droppings. Absolutely, man, it is beautiful fruit. too. Beautiful looking tree. I pruned it back this year and I thought I killed it because for the longest time it was just bare sticks. Is this the one I got for you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I, this is the improved black variety from uh, Chestnut Hill Tree Farm, if I remember correctly. And then Nice uh, big fat fruit. I got two little buds down there and I thought, okay, it's coming back to life. And then all of a sudden it just boom <laughs> and it's loaded with fruit. It's very happy. <laughs> so. It's one of my favorites. So you really, I mean, your system is growing. You've got the potential for fish, vegetables, celery, dragon fruit, jasmine, some yeah. sort of uh, echinacea. <laughs> I mean, there's all kinds of stuff growing in there, but then you're, you're also able to use some of the outputs from it and then feed the trees around the yard. Yeah, I got, and I've been feeding the blackberries. They were looking, last year they didn't do very well, um, but Look like they're that that one looks very happy that coming back. That was a back. transplant from the grow bed, and it had a very good rootstock, and it's coming back really well. It's very nice. Well, that's quite cool. Thank you for showing me. <laughs>